My name is Divya, and I'm going to be talking to you about Vrin analysis. But before we do that, let me set the stage for you. When you want to understand how strong your company is in the market, how do you do that? Well, one method is to look at and understand your resources and capabilities. Taking it one step further, you need to understand which of your resources and capabilities are competitive. If you have an advantage in the market that proves strong, despite your competitor's efforts to overcome it, you have a sustainable competitive advantage. This is where Vrin comes in. The competitive power of a resource or capability can be measured by the Vrin test, which is broken down into four specific tests. Vrin stands for valuable, rare, inimitable, and non-substitutable. So, let's look at them one by one. To test if a resource or capability is valuable, it must be directly relevant to the company's strategy, making the company a more effective competitor. Next, for a resource to be rare, it cannot be common among firms. A capability or resource is rare if it is held only by a small number of firms within the industry. The third test is for inimitable resources. The more difficult and costly it is for competitors to imitate a company's resource or capability, the more likely it can provide sustainable competitive advantage. The final Vrin test is non-substitutable. It's a little bit of a mouthful. In order for a resource to be non-substitutable, you have to ask the question, is it invulnerable to the threat of substitution from different types of resources and capabilities? Now, Vrin does have some limitations. The first one is that since the Vrin model is an internal analysis tool, it doesn't really consider demand or the customer. However, this can easily be improved by coupling Vrin with external analysis which would take into account the current market, demand, and customer requirements. The second limitation that critics bring up is that the Vrin model lacks management application. It explains how to examine the resources and capabilities, but is silent on how to obtain or improve the Vrin resources. However, it is important to take into consideration that most companies don't have many standout resources capable of passing all four tests. You'll usually find a mixed bag, a few strong resources that are quite valuable, some good, many satisfactory, and many mediocre. Resources and capabilities are key contributors to the effectiveness of strategy. So it's important to continually revisit them and keep making adjustments towards the goal of competitive advantage. So let's take a look at a company and analyze their major resources and capabilities to see if they passed all four Vrin tests. We'll apply the Vrin test to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A has many resources and capabilities worth looking at, but we'll look at three. Brand image, product offerings, and customer service. Chick-fil-A's brand image checks off the box for valuable, inimitable, and non-substitutable. Chick-fil-A prides themselves on their brand and the fact that no one can really imitate it. However, is it rare for a competitor in the fast food industry to have strong brand image? No, it's not. There are plenty of competitors who have great brand image, such as McDonald's and Wendy's. This capability is a sustainable competitive advantage since most tests passed. But let's take a look at another capability, product offerings. Chick-fil-A only serves chicken, unlike competitors who have a wider variety of offerings such as burgers. So while product offering is valuable to the Chick-fil-A company, it is neither rare, inimitable, nor non-substitutable. This would not really be considered a sustainable competitive advantage. The final capability we will look at is customer service. Chick-fil-A passes all four Vrin tests in terms of their customer service capability. It's an extremely valuable part of their strategy. 
and it's rare in the industry to have such high standards for customer service. It also can't be imitated since it would require extensive training and culture change. Rather, I should say it would be difficult to imitate. And finally, it can't really be substituted for other resources. Customer service is definitely a sustainable advantage for a Chick-fil-A life. I'd like to end with a final reminder, which is Brin is only used for resources and capabilities. It is most powerful applied that way. Thank you so much for listening.